Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss a model question paper of Karnataka CET chemistry. So this model paper questions are very helpful for the NEET exam also. Let us start with the first question. The first question is aqueous solution of salt A forms dense white precipitate with barium chloride solution. The precipitate dissolves in dilute HCl to produce gas B which decolorizes acidified potassium permanganate solution. <coughs> so here A and B we need to identify. So the gas which decolorizes potassium permanganate is sulfur dioxide gas. So B is a sulfur dioxide. We need to find out A salt which forms a white precipitate with barium chloride. So salt A is sodium sulfide which on reacting with barium chloride produce white precipitate of barium sulfide. This barium sulfide dissolves in dilute HCl to produce sulfur dioxide gas. So answer is A is sodium sulfide and B is sulfur dioxide gas. Let us go to the next question. Bond angle in pH4, pH4 plus bond angle is more than that of pH3, pH3 is phosphine, in pH3 you can find lone pair bond pair repulsion that's why bond angle in pH4 plus is more. Let us go to the next question, incorrectly matched pair. So here XeF6 is octahedral, XeO4 is square pyramidal, XeO3 is pyramidal, whereas XeF4 is not tetrahedral, this is incorrectly matched because in XeF4, Xenon shows sp3d2 hybridization with four bond pair and two lone pair. That's why XeF4 structure geometry will be square planar, not tetrahedral. Phosphorus pentachloride PCl5, phosphorus pentachloride on hydrolysis gives one oxo acids of phosphorus and this oxo acid is tribasic. So option C is right answer for this question. Identify the set of paramagnetic ions. Paramagnetic ions means the ions which slightly attracted to the magnet and the reason behind attraction is unpaired electron. So option A containing ions Ti3+, Cu2+, and Mn3+, has one or more unpaired electron. That's why they show paramagnetism. Potassium dichromate. How many moles of potassium dichromate required to liberate 6 moles of iodine from the aqueous solution of iodide ion? So as this equation shows, so 1 mole of potassium dichromate, 1 mole of potassium dichromate on reacting with potassium iodide liberates 3 moles of iodine, 3 moles of iodine. So according to the question to liberate 6 moles of iodine, there must be 2 moles of potassium dichromate. So 2 is the right answer. Seventh question, Cu2Cl2 and CuCl2 in aqueous medium. In the aqueous medium, CuCl2 is more stable. Why this is? It depends on hydration enthalpy. So as you can see here, CuCl2 is more stable because the size of copper ion is smaller than Cu plus ion. So on the smaller the size of the cation, it will be more, will be the hydration enthalpy and more stable. So Cu2 plus as it is smaller in size, it is more stable. So the coordination number of iron and cobalt in the following complexes. In this complex, iron is surrounded by oxalate, uh, oxalate ion uh, and this oxalate ion is bidentate ligand. So here the coordination number of iron is 6 and in second case, thiocyanate is monodentate ligand. That's why its coordination number is 4. So 6 and 4 is the right answer. So another question from coordination compounds chapter, the number of stereo isomer exhibited by this coordination complex. So this coordination complex can exhibit two cis isomers and one trans isomers. That's why it will exhibit three stereo isomers. Another uh, question from coordination compounds, the IUPAC name of this complex is tetraamine platinate 2, tetrachloride platinate 2. One more question from haloalkanes and haloarenes, prolonged exposure of chloroform in humans may cause damage to the liver it is due to the formation of phosgene carbonyl chloride phosgene cocl2 gas that's why we need to store the chloroform in dark colored bottle another question from haloalkanes and haloarenes which of the following highlights shows highest reactivity towards sn1 mechanism sn1 uh, in sn1 so here among the four options uh, this particular benzyl chloride shows more reactivity because it is going to form stable carbocation due to resonance due to resonance this is showing it is going to show stable cation in the next question there is a reaction of grignard reagent with amine grignard reagent with amine one primary amine in the presence of triether definitely there will be a formation of hydrocarbon that is alkane so as you can see here grignard reagent on reacting with amine methanamine in the presence of dry ether it produce propane this propane shows two possible isomer so it is a, sorry it is a, a butane a, isobutane so grignard reagent this particular grignard reagent on reacting with methylamine it produce isobutane or two methyl propane and one more isomer of isobutane is butane so it is going to possibly form two types of chain isomers next question in the next question we have some options here pqrs which among the following on heating gives ether 
ether so we need to find out among the four options which are going to form a ether so by williamson's ether synthesis p and q by williamson's ether synthesis p and q can able to produce ether because one has primary alkyl halide another has another has benzyl halide so primary alkyl halide and benzyl halide on reacting with sodium methoxide or sodium phenoxide both can able to produce ether which follows SN2 mechanism and this reaction is known as Williamson's ether reaction so both P and Q is the right answer for this question. In the next question what we can find is uh, the steps involved in the conversion of propan 2 ol to propan 1 ol we need to convert propan 2 ol to propan 1 ol so propan 2 ol propan 2 ol is a secondary alcohol we need to convert into primary alcohol for that propan 2 ol secondary alcohol on treating with phosphorus pentachloride it gives 2 chloropropane this on treating with alcoholic koh it undergo beta elimination dehydrohalogenation to produce alkene propene this on uh, treating the hydroboration oxidation uh, hydroboration it gives a propane one all so heating with phosphorus pentachloride and with alcoholic koh and followed by hydroboration oxidation we can able to convert propane to all to propane one all in the next question which of the following is the strongest base of course oh minus iron is the strongest base it's an easy question 17th question identify the product p in the given reaction so this is one uh, benzaldehyde and this is ethanol so ethanol has alpha hydrogen so because of alpha hydrogen in the presence of naoh both undergo aldol condensation to produce one aldol intermediate on heating by dehydration it gives this product so option a is the right answer in the next question which has which of the following has lowest boiling point among amines alcohol carboxylic acid and ether ethers cannot ethers ethers have lowest boiling point because they are unable to form hydrogen bonds that's why they have lowest boiling point the carbonyl compound that does not undergo aldol condensation among the given four option the one that does not have alpha hydrogen is not able to undergo aldol condensation and the not having alpha hydrogen among the four option is trichloroacetaldehyde this will not undergo aldol condensation in the next question directly have given the answer nitrobenzene on treat on bromination gives meta bromo nitrobenzene this on treating with tin in the presence of concentrated uh, concentrated hcl nitro group undergo reduction to produce amine amine group so q is an amine that amine on treating with nano2 in the presence of hcl and 0 degree celsius 0 to 5 degree celsius it undergo diazotization to produce diazonium salt this diazonium salt on hydrolysis it converts into alcoholic group so r is this product so this is the interconversion reaction very important one hinsberg reagent of course is benzene sulfonyl chloride C6HYSO2Cl2 and this Hinsberg reagent is used to differentiate primary, secondary and tertiary amines. Next question also very easy. Vitamins not stored in adipose tissue is B6 because B6 is vitamin B a part which is water soluble and DEA are the wat uh, water uh, fat soluble vitamins so they can store B6 cannot be stored. Hypothyroidism is caused by the deficiency of thyroxine hormone and thyroxine hormone is produced by thyroid gland. C1-C4 glycosidic linkage is not found in sucrose because in sucrose we can find C1-C2 glycosidic linkage not C1-C4. The food additive that also acts as antioxidant is a butylated hydroxy anisole BHA. Which of the following is not related to drug enzyme interaction? The drug enzyme interaction is not involved in antagonist. Uh, let us go to the one numerical question. 0 0.4 grams of dihydrogen. 0 0.4, gra 0 0.4 grams of dihydrogen. So if you divide mass by molar mass, molar mass of hydrogen is 2, you will get number of moles 0 0.2. And 7.1 gram of chlorine, dichlorine, Cl2. 7.1 gram of chlorine, mass by molar mass, molar mass of chlorine is 71, you will get 0 0.1 mole. So the volume of hydrogen chloride formed, we need to find out according to this equation we need to find out the value of HCl formed when 0.4 grams of hydrogen and 7.1 grams of chlorine reacts. So, according to the reaction, 1 mole of hydrogen combines with 1 mole of chlorine. So, 0.2 moles of hydrogen must combine with 0.2 moles of chlorine. But in the question, they have given only 0.1 mole. So, here, H chlorine is a limiting reagent. So, as chlorine is a limiting reagent, what we can suggest is 0.4 grams of dihydrogen, that is nothing but 0.2 moles of dihydrogen, will able to give 0.2. Uh, uh, double than the, the tough uh, uh, HCl. So, as chlorine is a limiting reagent, we need to find out volume of HCl formed at STP. So, hence 0 0.2 moles of 0 0.2 moles of hydrogen produce 0 0.2 moles of HCl because chlorine is a limiting reagent. We need to find out the volume of HCl at STP. So, one mole of any gas at HCp is equal to 22.2. 7 liters 22.7 liters thus if 1 mole is equal to 22.7 then 0 0.2 mole is equal to 4.54 liters next question with regards to photoelectric effect the correct statement is number of electrons ejected increases with increasing the intensity of incident light so the conjugate base of nh3 nh3 uh, conjugate base is nh2 minus because conjugate base has one proton less from the acid if we consider nh3 as an acid then conjugate base must be having one proton less so one h plus less so nh2 minus is the right answer next numerical we have a gas mixture contains 22 percent helium and 74 percent methane so 
this is by volume so now we know uh, the standard volume of any uh, one mole of a gas is 22.4 liters that's why you divide the volume 25 uh, volume of helium with its uh, uh, 22.4 you will get the number of moles 1.12 similarly uh, helium molar mass is 4 when you multiply you can convert into mass okay moles into mass 4.4 grams 4.48 grams similarly methane percentage is 75 divided with uh, volume of one mole 22.4 you will get 3.35 moles now methane molar mass is 16 when you multiply you will get 53.60 so when you add 53.60 and 4.8 both mass of helium and methane you will get 58.08 so if you want to find out the mass percentage of methane the mass of methane 53.60 divided by the mass of overall mass of the compound with methane and the helium 58.08 into 100 if you do you will get 92.28 percent like this you can calculate so the percentage Percentage of yes character in the NO2 plus, NO3 minus, NH4 plus. So in NO2 plus, NO2 plus, the nitrogen, nitrogen shows SP hybridization. So in SP hybridization, the percentage of uh, yes character is 50 percent. The percentage of yes character is 50 percent. In uh, NO3 minus, uh, the nitrogen has SP2 hybridization. So in SP2 hybridization, the percentage is 33.33 percent. And in NH4 plus, the percentage of uh, the, uh, the hybridization of uh, uh, nitrogen is sp3 and in sp3 the percentage of s character is 25 percent so <coughs> option a is the right answer for this question next question the formal charge of central oxygen in ozone ozone central oxygen in ozone is a plus one next question when the same quantity when the same quantity of heat is absorbed by a system at two different temperature t1 and t2 such that t1 is greater than t2 the entropies are delta s1 and delta s2 respectively so in, we know that in thermodynamics the concept of entropy s change due to transfer of heat which we can write in the form of delta s is equal to q by t so in this question heat is constant q is constant so delta s is inversely proportional to temperature delta s is inversely proportional to temperature because of that as t1 is greater than t2 the actual relation between entropies is a delta s2 final entropy is greater than initial entropy so option c is the right answer for this question the oxidation number of nh4 no3 ammonium nitrite when you dissociate you will get nh4 plus so in nh4 plus if you calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen is minus 3 and in no3 minus no3 minus the nitrogen oxidation state is plus 5 so option d is the right answer the elevis acid the elevis acid reacts with lithium aluminium hydride in ether medium to give a highly toxic gas this gas on heating with ammonia gives a compound known as inorganic benzene so inorganic benzene definitely produced by diborane only b2h6 is the answer so oxide of potassium that does not exist potassium can form k2o2 k2o and ko2 oxide superoxide and peroxide but it cannot form k2o3 the metal that produce hydrogen with both dilute hcl and noh is zinc so next question is which of the following is not a pair uh, not a pair of functional isomer so definitely so option c as both are ethers so it cannot be a, a, pair, a functional uh, isomers in the next question what we can find is benzene benzene on treating with chlorine in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride it gives ortho and para dichlorobenzene so ortho uh, dichlorobenzene on re in the presence of excess of chlorine it will form hexa hexa chlorobenzene so next question which of the which of the following is not a greenhouse gas of course oxygen is not a greenhouse gas next electrochemistry question a pair of electrolyte that possess same value uh, for the constant a in uh, dy huckel's on sager equation so among the four option uh, nacl nh4cl and nabr both are uh, both are forming only monotype of cations Na, nh4 plus cl minus na plus Br minus. Whereas in the remaining options, you can find difference in the valencies. That's why option D is right answer, to, which gives same value. Next question from chemical kinetics. Uh, sorry, electrochemistry itself. So here in this question, there is a numerical. E naught of iron is 0 0.76 volt, and E naught of iodine is 0 0.55 volt. The equilibrium constant Kc we need to find out. So we know the, we know the relation we have to find first of all we need to find out E naught cell by using the formula E naught of cathode minus E naught E naught of anode. So in this given question, cathode is iron of course you substitute the value and anode is iodine. So when you subtract you will get electrode potential of the cell 0 0.21. Now you write down the redox reaction you will come to know the number of electrons the number of electrons of course 2 fe3 plus 2 fe2 plus oxidation or reduction you take in a number of electrons is 2 now you can find out the write down the final formula e naught cell is equal to 0 0.0591 divided by n log of kc n is 2 is the number of electron log of kc so when you uh, when you uh, calculate log kc you will get 7 that is nothing but kc is equal to 10 to the power of 7 1 into 10 to the power of 7 
In the next question, in the aqueous solution of NaF is electrolyzed between inert electrode, the product obtained at anode. So aqueous solution, as we are taking aqueous solution, among F minus and O2 minus, oxygen is going to discharge at anode. So it will release oxygen gas in this case. So oxygen is released. In which, in next question, in which of the following cases chemical reaction is chemical reaction is possible? So whereas here in the first option, platinum is an uh, platinum and gold both are inert. They won't react. They won't react. And when it compared to zinc sulfate and copper, so zinc sulfate is placed in copper as uh, uh, zinc is uh, more reactive than copper. So it, there also reaction will not happen to take place. Uh, copper will not displace. When it comes to AgNO3 solution is treated with copper, copper spoon, as copper is more reactive, so copper can able to uh, displace silver from the silver nitrate. So here chemical reaction is possible in the option D. Next question is of chemical kinetics, the time required for the 60% completion of the first order reaction. So for the 60% completion means, uh, so uh, 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 first order reaction is 50 minutes. The time required for 93.6% completion of the same reaction will be. So for 60% completion, time is 50 minutes. We need to find out for 93.6% completion, how much time it is going to take. So first order uh, reaction formula, you know it, is K is equal to 0, 2.303 divided by T log of initial concentration of the reactant minus final concentration of the reactant. In first case, 60% completed means, Oh, 60% uh, uh, completed means 40 will be remains log uh, R0 is 100 and uh, R is uh, 60 minus 100 minus 60 which is equal to 40 time is uh, 50 minutes when you calculate you will get this value similarly for 93.6% initial concentration is uh, 100 minus 93.6 will be 6.4 for second case if you calculate you will get you will get this answer so when you compare both when you compare both, so the time taken for 93.6% completion is 150 minutes. When you solve these two cases, both this equation for 60% uh, completion as well as 93.6% completion, when you compare both this, you will get 150 minutes. In the next question, for the elementary reaction, for this particular reaction, the rate of appearance of C, product C, rate of appearance of product C at a time t is 2.8 into 10 to the power of minus 3 mole per liter per second, the rate of disappearance of B. So rate of appearance has been given, we need to find out the rate of disappearance of B. So as the B is disappeared, B is reactant, so it is in the balance re equation it is 3B, so we need to write minus 1 by 3 dB by dt is equal to, and C is product, it is increased by 4 times, so we need to write plus 1 by 4 dC by dt. So when you substitute both this one, you will get 3 by 4 into 2.8 into 10 to the power of minus 3 mole per liter per second. So substitute both the values here. So minus 1 by 3 dB by dt is equal to 1 by 4 dC by dt. When you calculate, you will get minus dB by dt is equal to 3 divided by 3 divided by 4 dC by dt. So when you calculate, you will get 3 by 4 into 2.8 into 10 to the power of minus 3. In the next question, the rate, the rate constant of a reaction is given k is equal to k is equal to p z e to the power of minus e a by r t under standard notation in order to speed up the reaction which of the following factor has to be decreased so if you want to speed up the reaction energy of activation you need to decrease so these are some of the question answers from first pc and second pc chemistry i hope it is going to be very helpful for your revision thank you students